So we're at clinicaltrials.gov, a random website, and what we're looking for is how to create an RSS feed. Now there's a couple of ways we could have done this. If I'd gone, for instance, to Google and searched for clinicaltrials.gov RSS, then Google would look and look, there you go, told me first page how to do it. And then looking on RSS feeds, it says RSS feed for a specific search because a lot of these places have already set up feeds that you might want. So let's look at RSS feed. Uh, creating an RSS feed, it says uh, allows you to easily access browse study records found by your search that have been added or modified in the last 14 days. So that's pretty cool. They put a clock on it. All right, enter your search terms, click search, uh, da da da, subscribe to RSS on the right hand of the search results. Okay, so let's try one. We'll do a spine surgery and New York. And I'm doing that because, see, they got an example up here. Uh, looks like I, I have to use the quotes. So they're apparently, uh, they've got some Boolean logic built in to the search, which is cool. Um, here we go. So here's what we've got. Here's something that has been coming up. This is listing all these uh, deals here. Now, what we're looking for is, bam, right there, subscribe to RSS, show studies that were first received in the last 14 days or studies that were added or modified in the last. I'm going to go with that. And we'll say create the RSS feed. And this says, uh, it's got shit is what it looks like. Uh, so let's go back and see that and create RSS and we still got shit. So we'll go back. Let's just try and do spine surgery search. See if we get any more. Uh, yeah, there's more. Subscribe to RSS. Let's uh, add it or modify. Create RSS. There we go. So I guess we were a little too narrow with that New York. So I've got an RSS feed. This is the feed right here. And there's all these little terms around here. See that D equals 14? Watch that. I changed that to a 30. Bam. And what I just did was hacked it and made it go in the last month. So that's pretty cool. You can do stuff like that with RSS feeds. They, of course, don't give you instructions on it. So now that I've got a feed, I'm going to go over to my WordPress. And these are all things that I've got running in here. See, news-medical.net, all of these different things. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down here where I have my feed aggregator and I'm going to add a new feed because I want to capture this. Now remember this is an out of the box plugin that I've just grabbed. So I'm going to say clinical trials uh, dot gov. That doesn't really display. And enter feed URL including HTTP. I just paste that in. I've got all my stuff and I'll say this is the spine surgery feed and um, I'll change that to spine surgery so I could create many of these if I wanted to right uh, limit default that is the, the default setting which I think is 12 entries or something like that so I can go past that say and put 20 entries uh, this is where we have it come in. What are we coming in as a post, a page? For right now, we're leaving it on post. Uh, we do want them as draft. We don't want anything going to print. Uh, post format, that's some other things. None of this makes any sense to you, nor should it. Uh, post date, we can override it to today's date if we wanted say, to make it look like it was something new. The taxonomy terms and tags are things that allow for, for more segmentation. And then we've got other stuff about bringing in an image, etc. But basically, at the end of all of this, we've got a little button over here that says Publish. And it is now publishing. And it says it has saved. And when we go over here to Post real quick, we'll see what we got. We've got, check it out, went and grabbed it. And the idea on this is that I can go in to my uh, aggregator, I can go under settings and say limit feed items by age. That will kill the feeds, basically clean out 
the uh, the feed items that we have. Uh, feed the post, which is the tool that we're using. This is a combination of RSS aggregator and, aggregator and converts to a post. And so here's some of our, uh, and this is where we're using a nofollow tag. That's an important thing. Um, somewhere on here, there is a time where it lets you say how often to do this. And I'm not finding that just yet, but it's somewhere in here. Ah, here it is. Feed processing interval once a day. Uh, that's what I set it on some feeds so you could run multiple times. So that means that it's going to, if all is working correctly, it will uh, go in and pull in new feeds every day. That's where having these categorized uh, would be a big thing. Now, you can't see this. There you go. Uh, notice that all these say one minute ago. This says 19 hours ago, which... I'm going to get rid of that one. And then I've got um, different dates, see, on when these things were pulled in. Now, this is running on a demo site, so configurations, etc., would be if we set something up like that, it would put in here. But let's just say that I'm ready, and I want to talk about the subacromial injection. There's all the content uh, that it exists uh, on here, which is... Not a whole lot I'm looking on here, but it looks like uh, they don't offer any links. So there's not a whole lot of content there versus what was actually found in the search results. So let's take a look in our search results and see what we've got. Uh, there's some of our content. See, it's got conditions interventions, but it looks like the link into that uh, does not appear to be uh, to be posting. So we'll have to look into that and see. But nonetheless, if I want to publish this live, I can either hit publish or I can actually schedule a date to publish. When I click on publish, ticks a little bit, it's done. And when I go to my demo site, there it is. And notice that I can... Oh, sorry, that was me. Um, go to my demo site, I can look at this, I can click on the link, but it only gives me this. So I don't actually get in the feed, I don't appear to be getting the link. That's something that we would have to study on and modify the actual feed itself. So that was a real quick uh, demo of how to do this.